Bills. One million dollars once. One million dollars twice. Bill money, it is selling at one million dollars. So one million dollars. The first rifle I would like to present is lot number 1006, the fabulous and one-of-a-kind Winchester model 1886 takedown lightweight rifle in caliber 33 Winchester. It has a 24-inch tapered round barrel with full matted top and standard sights. The receiver is spectacularly engraved and inlaid with gold animals by preeminent Winchester engraver John Ulrich, uh, and his signature is found on the lower tang of the rifle. The engraving uh, is of the very highest quality with unusually extensive coverage which cost $125 in 1913 and used 195 grams of gold. Uh, the stock and forearm are also of very high quality. Uh, English walnut with Roosevelt cheek piece and extensively carved and 32 line checkered grip and forearm all by another Elric brother, Conrad, which uh, at the time cost an additional $25 for his services. This information is most unusually all, all specified in the shipping record. Uh, usually the uh, records are very sparse just giving the facts of the uh, firearm and uh, the date it was shipped. The vignettes on the side of the receiver and the gold inlaid initials of Mr. Dodge on the bottom of the receiver were all detailed by Mr. Dodge when he ordered this rifle. Uh, he specified no gold lines or bands and ordered a checkered trigger with pull as light as possible consistent with safety. This is truly an extraordinarily rare and beautiful rifle uh, and carries a pre-auction estimate of $175,000 to $275,000. The second rifle that we're showing tonight is the very next lot in the catalog, lot number 1007. It is the Savage Model 1899 takedown rifle in caliber 253,000 Savage, also for Mr. Dodge, uh, with the same provenance as the Winchester Model 1886, uh, which we just previewed. This rifle is also full coverage engraved in elaborate foliate arabesque scrolls with very detailed animal scenes in raised gold on each side. The left side depicts a bull and cow elk in a forest scene, and the right side shows two stalking tigers, also in raised gold. The bottom of the receiver is inlaid with Mr. Dodge's intertwined gold initials, JFD, and all the screw heads are engraved and gold-plated. The butt plate is elaborately engraved and gold-plated, and the forehead latch is also gold-plated. The barrel of this uh, beautiful rifle is lightweight 22 inches with the very rare feature of full length matted rib that has a special mortised rear sight. To complete this rifle, the stock and forearm are made of elaborate marble cake French walnut uh, that has been extensively relief carved in grape leaf, vine, and clusters of grape pattern and has an extremely unusual pearl grip cap. This is believed to be the most elaborate and finest Savage model 1899 ever made, and it carries a pre auction estimate of $125,000 to $150,000. I would now like to present two Colt Dragoon revolvers from the extensive and well-known collection of Dr. John M. Pickup of Tasmania. Dr. Pickup is a very astute and discerning collector who amassed his collection over many years and now has decided to pass it on to others to enjoy. Uh, the first Dragoon we're presenting is lot number 1279, which is a second model uh, uh, Dragoon uh, bearing serial number 10223. It is in standard configuration with a seven and a half inch uh, octagon to round barrel uh, and is mounted with one piece rosewood grip. It has the square back trigger guard of the first model, which continued into the second model, and has a massive six-shot cylinder with the Dragoon Indian fight scene roll marking by W.L. Ormsby. 
This revolver is believed to have been engraved by Master Engraver W.L. Ormsby, the same engraver who made the roll dies for the cylinder scene markings found on most Colt percussion revolvers. It is engraved in large early style scrolls with full coverage on the frame and barrel lug with matching patterns on the rammer pivot on the back strap and trigger guard and has a large oval vignette on the right side of the barrel lug uh, which is the portrait of the Marquis de Lafayette the savior of the American uh, Revolution uh, along with George Washington. This revolver is believed to have been made for the London Crystal Palace exhibit of 1851. It has a consecutively numbered mate, which is serial number 10222, which is engraved nearly identically, but has the portrait of George Washington on the left side of the barrel lug. It is believed that these, uh, these two revolvers were displayed muzzle to muzzle with the portraits exposed to act sort of as a thumb in the eye to the British for the revolution. These revolvers, after the exhibit was finished, purchased by the firm of Charles Nephew and Company of Calcutta, India, uh, and are so marked on the front straps of the, of the grip frame. Uh, since they were sold outside of the English market, uh, there was no requirement for them to be British English proofed, so they um, do not have the English proofs, even though they were sold in England. should note that serial number 10222, the mate to this revolver, uh, is currently on exhibit uh, at the American West Autry National Center uh, Museum in California. It bears a pre-auction estimate of $100,000 to $150,000. The second Colt we are presenting from the Dr. Pickup Collection uh, is lot number 1280. It is a very rare cased second model Dragoon percussion revolver uh, with original accessories. Uh, not necessarily original to this revolver, but they are original Colt accessories. The second model Dragoon uh, is the most rare of the three models of Dragoons, with only about 2,700 of them produced uh, in the period of 1850 to 1851. And out of that small number, about 1,000 of them were sold to the U.S. government. Cased examples of the second model Dragoons are extremely rare, and of those, very, very few are ever found with high original finish. These revolvers were produced uh, during the period of America's great western expansion of Manifest Destiny and usually saw continued hard service under very harsh circumstances, uh, often in uh, extremes of weather and such with uh, very little maintenance and uh, are almost never found with original finish. Uh, this revolver uh, is in its standard configuration with seven and a half inch octagon to round barrel again with the uh, second model silver plated square back brass trigger guard and back strap and uh, is mounted with a varnished one piece walnut grip. The massive cylinder is the usual six shots and has the Dragoon and Indian fight scene roll marking by W.L. Ormsby and it carries a pre-auction estimate of uh, $75,000 to $125,000.